Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to No Prep News, episode number 226. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. It's practically a holiday here in the United States. Thank you all so much for taking the time to watch my video on this crazy day. I know tomorrow when the Super Bowl is actually taking place, I'm having some friends over, having some good food and all that stuff. That's the best part about it. It's like, it's literally a holiday. People come together, you have good food, like doesn't get much better than that. Hope you all are having a great day today. What we're discussing here today is something that kind of is more so about the bigger picture. Now, I know this is titled No Prep News. That's this series we do here. Although recently on the channel, we've kind of been looking at a larger scope than just Street Outlaws. We've kind of been looking at Discovery as the whole with the new boss in charge of Discovery Channel, Howard Lee, and kind of his plans for the future of Discovery Channel as a whole. Well, there's some news that came out this past week for the future of Discovery Channel and a couple of you guys reached out and messaged me in regards to it and were asking how I think this might tie industry outlaws. Now for those that don't know, Discovery Channel or here I should get a little we'll get like specific with it just to let you guys know Discovery Channel is a part of this. It's ESPN Fox and Warner Bros Discovery. Warner Bros Discovery being Discovery Channel. They are coming together for this sports streaming merger. Now what they're doing is coming together for these live sporting events and this streaming platform and all that stuff. Now, Discovery already combined with HBO, Max, and now they're just Max for streaming services on there. And then ESPN Plus has their own streaming thing over there. As far as I'm aware, like ESPN Plus and Max are still going to be their own separate things. They're just going to be add-ons to both of them. I was just seeing a little bit of different clips and stuff and short articles about them. I'm not sure the ins and outs of the details of it specifically. The piece I'm looking at the most is... Warner Bros. Discovery joining in on this. Now, we're looking at this with Warner Bros. Discovery. It is a larger view than just Discovery Channel. The Discovery Channel we watch and follow along with, with when we watch our favorite show, Street Outlaws. Warner Bros. Discovery is a much bigger scale, I believe, than just that. And what they're looking at here is live sporting events. Now, there's one thing with Street Outlaws we have always discussed. Now, there's no denying that drag racing is a sporting event. And we've always said with No Prep Kings, No Prep Kings is a successful live in-person event and a successful TV show as well. And there's one thing fans have always wanted on top of that. A live, legit stream of the events. Now, obviously, you can find the events streamed all over on Facebook, on YouTube, and all those different platforms. But what fans kind of seem to want is they want an official stream. Like, I'm like I'm not trying to knock the people that, when I said, like, legit stream, I'm not trying to knock the people that stream the No Prep Kings events. I literally watch those myself. But a lot of fans have been asking for Street Outlaws, Pilgrim, maybe even Discovery, again, the hierarchy of it, you can say whichever one there. They want, like, the people putting the events on to have their own live stream events. Like, look at Drag Week, for instance. There's all the people that cover, cover Drag Week and stuff, but, like, they have that bare minimum, at least the live stream of it with Freiburger up in the booth every single day. Like, they do that bare minimum stuff. It's not some massive, elaborate stream. It's just something they have there to at least simply cover the event. Outlaw again. I remember watching the streams of that back in the day and all that stuff. Like, it's nothing new to stream drag racing events. And fans have really wanted No Prep Kings to be a live streaming event at some point, and I've all, like I've always said, there's no way that's gonna happen because you have the live in-person event, and people want to go there for the live event. More so, though, they want to go there to meet the street outlaws. Like I feel like whenever we've talked specifically about the experience of going to these events in person, every time I've messaged back and forth or read comments and stuff with you guys, all of the people focus on how cool it was to actually meet the guys. Like not even be there and watch the events in person. More so, meet the guys in the pits and all that stuff and get a shirt signed, get a picture with them and all that stuff. Obviously, people go there for the racing, but like one of the best parts about it is the experience from meeting the actual drivers themselves. Now, they have that live successful sporting event with all these extra draws to it and stuff. Like I just mentioned, the biggest one being people wanting to go meet the drivers then simply people wanting to watch the racing and all these other different things you could add into there. It's a successful live event at the end of the day. Then they film that live event and have a successful TV show that fans all over the world watch and enjoy as it airs on TV. And I have always kind of been in the idea that if they made the live events, a live stream, it would take away from the TV show. Although with them having this thing now, with it being some extra add-on to gain access to these live sporting events, there's a paywall there now. So why wouldn't they 
add a live stream of No Prep Kings. I mean, does that not make sense? Because they can still make the TV show. It's not going to hurt the TV show because the stream isn't free. It is going to be behind some sort of paywall. Now, I know people are going to be upset by that. I know I mentioned the Drag Week live stream or the Outlaw Armageddon live stream. The Outlaw Armageddon one I read was on some, like, drag website or something like that. Then the Drag Week one is just simply on YouTube. But, like, with the what we're looking at here, like, obviously, it's not going to be free. If they're going to be doing this, they're going to be making a bunch of money from it in some way, shape, or form. But it's at least going to be addressing something that the fans have been asking for for years. Years now at this point and if they have it behind that paywall I don't think the risk of it impacting the live or the tv show is that great anymore because it's like it's not like the information about who wins the events and stuff isn't like easy to access it's extremely easy to access if you want to figure out who wins the events two minutes after the round ends like it's easy to come about that information because it's all over social media and all these different accounts so like that argument of having it be like a detriment to the TV show if they have it live, I personally don't feel is like that true anymore because like, again, though, but when I've looked at it and I've argued against them having the live event, I've kind of viewed it in the perspective of the TV people. The TV people think, oh, it's going to ruin the TV show. But now that they have that paywall there, that's the big key aspect of this. Now that there's some extra paywall there to have the live stream behind, like, I think there's a good chance we might see No Prep Kings live during this next season. Imagine how crazy that would be. Now, when this merger comes into effect for this ESPN, Fox, Warner Bros. Discovery Sports streaming merger, when this comes into effect, I apologize, I don't know the specific dates and details about all that stuff, but if I'm being honest, if there is ever an opportunity to see No Prep Kings live, like have it be live streamed, I think this is the best opportunity we're probably ever going to get for that. Unless Street Outlaws, with everything going on, breaks away from Discovery as a whole and goes off to do their own thing, I think it would be smart to them to cap for them to capitalize on that opportunity there, have a live event, like JJ does has the live events, stream it. I think JJ streams a lot of his stuff, but it's just like Facebook streams and all that. But like have like a legit, like maybe subscription service or something like that, like some sort of app like Motor Trend On Demand where you pay a subscription to have access to the content on there and you can stream it on there and then film it as a TV show as well and then produce that and put it wherever they end up putting it. That's if Street Outlaws goes off on their own, though. With this stuff they have right now being a part of Discovery Channel still, still the live successful in-person events, still record those events for a TV show and have a successful TV show, and then with this new sports streaming merger, stream the live events on that platform. Like, does that not make complete sense? Especially when you think about it, like, the reason why they're doing this is to get more money. That's all these big companies and corporations care about. And you think about it, they might look at this as, okay, this is something fans have been asking for. Now we actually have a good, like, sensible place to put it. Because to be fair, there was never really a smart place to put it before. Now we have a good, sensible place to put it, and we can have it behind a paywall. Why not do it? Just a bare minimum stream. I genuinely think if we do see this ever happen, this time right now with this new merger is the most likely scenario where we will see No Prep Kings actually live streamed in real time. And that is all for this week's episode of No Prep News. I thank you all so very much for watching TTVE. Make sure you guys click that little bell, turn the notifications on so you don't miss a single video that I upload. All of my videos are live at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And make sure you guys leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. What do you think about this merger? Do you think we're going to see No Prep Kings ever live, like legit stream from Street Outlaws Discovery Pilgrim? Your thoughts on that in the comment section down below. Thank you guys all so very much for watching TTVE. Hope you guys had a great weekend this weekend and are looking forward to a great week this week. And I honestly can't thank you guys enough for watching TTVE. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, all you Sam is XYZ. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And this is Sam ABC XYZ signing out.